If you gamify ham radio, they will come. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. Several months ago, Mike, KG4VDK, and myself came up with this idea of a obstacle course for ham radio. Now, the obstacle course includes a list of challenges that you have to complete with an HT radio. And we set out with a complete list of objectives. These objectives included things like programming a simplex frequency into your HT from the front panel, adding a PL tone to that. Another one was programming a repeater into your radio from the front panel. But Mike took this list of objectives to a whole new level and created an ICS-205 that walked you through seven different checkpoints along a course. The idea behind this concept is just to get operators more familiar with their HT radio. Let's go ahead and walk through the course one piece at a time, and I'm going to leave some links down below so that you can download all of the material we use to run this challenge course. Now, we used different colored flags to mark each objective. The first one was green. Right out of the gate, the participants were handed an ICS-205 and were asked to program a simplex frequency into their radio. Once they got that programmed in, they contacted Net Control, Mike, and he gave them a 10-digit string that represented their call sign. They were asked to enter that 10-digit uh, string and a couple of other numbers followed by a pound sign using DTMF on their radio. Kilo, November 4, Charlie, Charlie, Quebec, check in. Welcome to the challenge course. Please proceed to the first objective. At the next objective, they needed to put their HT into low power mode and lock the radio before proceeding to the next objective. Now keep in mind, at each objective, there was something changing with the frequency on the radio. So either the frequency would change, or they would be required to program in a PL tone, or maybe set tone squelch on their radio. At the white objective, they were asked to use their HT to monitor a NOAA weather radio frequency. Once they figured out which frequency they could hear, they reported that frequency back to net control. When they arrived at the blue objective, there was an unopened bag of M&Ms laying there waiting for them. They were asked to open that bag of M&Ms, sort the colors, and then give net control a report of how many of each color of the M&Ms they had. Once that was done, they were asked to move on to the black objective. At the black objective, there was a roll-up J-pole antenna hanging there waiting for them. The trick to this, though, was that roll-up J-pole had a PL259 connector on it. We asked each participant to go ahead and connect their HT to that roll-up J-pole. Now, if they didn't have adapters with them, we obviously loaned them an adapter. Once they got that connected to the roll-up J-pole, they played a game of tic-tac-toe, or as we called it, x-rays and Oscars, with net control. The tic-tac-toe board was on the back of the 205, and we had laminated those so you could use a grease pencil to mark the spaces, and then wipe that off easily after we were done. Once the game was over, the participants moved ahead to the yellow flag. At this location, they needed to copy down three different sets of GPS coordinates. Once they had successfully copied this and verified that with net control, they proceeded to the checkered flag. At the checkered flag, they used that same 10-digit code that they were given at the beginning, followed by 73 pound, which checked them out of the course and recorded the time that it took to complete the entire course. Kilo Golf 4, Victor Delta, Kilo checked out. Challenge course completed in zero hours, 15 minutes, 23 seconds. Now, I'm sure some of you may wonder exactly how he got that DTMF code working, and he was utilizing Direwolf and DTMF. 
I don't completely have my head wrapped around that just yet, but hopefully I can do a video on that in the near future. But there's a look at how we gamified ham radio created a fun event that allowed everyone to learn a bit more about their HT. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.